Welcome back guys to Tech Tips with Roy. Today, we're gonna go through a number of customization tips within iOS Beta 18. Let's jump right straight into it. Before I proceed though, yesterday Apple released iOS 18 Developer Beta 4. So, I know some of you might have installed the beta version, but you might notice some difference. I don't know, slightly, but yeah, just try to follow along. Gonna start with the lock screen customization. You see these icons here? With the beta version, you have the option to change those to any icon that you want. So the same way you go about customizing your wallpapers is the same way we get to customize the icons. So let's first unlock our phone. Like I said, same way we customize our wallpaper. We'll hold down uh, the lock screen. Click on uh, customize and then we go lock screen. Now you see at the bottom you have the minus icons next to the what do the actual icons themselves. Well, you can get to remove by just clicking the minus sign and then you have the option to what to replace it with another icon. So let's click there. And yeah, as you can see, you have a bunch of options that you can replace them with. You can uh, add the translate app to, to open from your lock screen, the calculator, you know, all these other options right here. You can add them. So let's say I want to add my calculator to open from there. After that, we go to done. Yeah, and there you are. I've actually customized my uh, lock screen to have this new icon from which I can just do that. And I'm in my calculators app. So the next thing that we're going to move on to is the actual home screen customization. I'm pretty sure everybody's aware that you are not able to place icons wherever you want them to be. But that's not the case with uh, iOS 18. If you can see from my screen right now, I have this separate window that I created. So I can drag this icon, hold on, and then just place it at the bottom without anything existing here. You're well aware that if you tried this on other versions of iOS, this app would automatically snap to somewhere here. But that's not the case with iOS 18. So that's another thing to look out for. While we're on the lock screen, let me show you what Apple has decided to add in terms of the icons themselves and the labels in uh, with the apps. So if you can hold down any anywhere on your screen and you go to the edit button on top right there and you choose, um, what's this, customize you get this panel at the bottom right here yeah which has a bunch of options these options mainly apply to your icons yeah so if you see here the automatic uh, option allows you to set the tones of your icons to either be in light mode or in dark mode depending on the sunrise and sunset yeah but if you choose the dark option that means regardless of the time the icons will be in dark mode same thing with what with uh with light mode they'll be in a light option let me just currently because it's dark i set my my icons to be on automatic to change automatically but if i choose light you see and notice that everything let's go here everything has gone to the light mode but if I do the same process, edit, customize, and then choose dark. You see they'll change to this darker shade right there, which is something that's cool. Let me show you now the other option, customize, tinted. You have now the ability to choose a unified color. Look at that, so, oh, my bad you have the option to have all the applications tended to 
one color which i think i'm keeping this definitely this looks good but you can choose any other color from um that slide bar that popped up um so do that you can choose any other color from here and you have the option to you know disable the name icons by just choosing large or small if we choose large and go back hold on, and go back to you yeah you see all the labels are gone so even if you like open a folder you're just gonna have large icons no labels that's that one other thing that you can do on your home screen is say you want to change the size of this um widget right here instead of you having to go through the process of deleting that and then adding a new one you can just press and hold hold on press and hold anywhere else do that and then just drag these sliders at the bottom you see it automatically resizes same thing you just do that and yeah you're good well guys that's it for a customization guide on ios 18 let me know in the comments below how you're going to be customizing your home screens yeah like this video subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more ios 18 tips see you guys in the next one